musician, mentor, and coach um, with the Music Academy International. Today we're gonna have really fun. Uh, it's uh, it's for uh, late beginner, you know. That uh, you know, it's from level two B, Faber and Faber, the chord type piano arrange. And I picked this song is from this book. Right? This is the book. You're gonna have the link below if you read notes. But anyhow, this is a beautiful song. Why I like this beautiful song is because it's from Phantom of the Opera. It's one of my favorite Le Mis and Phantom of the Opera are the best Broadways. I think that it was written in the last, I don't know. There are a couple, couple of others, Lion King or stuff like that, but really my pre preference, it's um, Phantom of the Opera and Le Mis. And this one, it's a beautiful song and actually I will try to sing for you, so don't laugh. Where in the world have you been hiding? Really you are perfect. I only wish I knew your secret. Who is this new to tour? Father wants no of an angel. I used to dream him of you. position. Exactly the same thing. 
to the end though you move you're gonna move the left hand from the G you're gonna go like in a E position right and you're gonna have this fifth two times that means three counts on each one two three one two three and then you're gonna move to C and G one two three one two three two times and then you're gonna move to a fifth on A, A and E, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you have this little third here, B and D sharp, two times, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So from the G, I repeat the left hand, you move into the E position, you have like a transition three notes, B, G, F, and you get straight into the fifth on E, E and D. Time, two times, three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Move to C and G. One, two, three. One, two, three. Move to A and C. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the last one is B and D sharp. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just pause the video and do it a couple of times. Again, it's E two times, C two times, and D two times, and this one B and D sharp right hand it's nothing easier but this one you are you moving into you are already in a B, G, that's where you started and then right now uh, that's where you ended so from here where it was 
number 17 i'm gonna sing and then we're gonna pause the video and you're gonna practice this part okay father one spoke of an angel i used to dream him appear now as i sing i can sense send me uh, some um, uh, clips are you playing it i would love to see those okay okay so you can pause here and we're gonna go um i'm gonna go all the way through it in this tutorial because the next page it's entire repeat it's entirely it's repeating exactly the first page as we we did it before just they are different words so you can sing and just repeat goes Angel of music, guide and guide God to be your glory. Angel of music, guide no longer. Come to me, strange angel. Right? So it's exactly the same thing. If you don't sing, you could um you can move the right hand an octave higher and do exactly like the same thing as i told you on the first um the first um, page like <laughs> I bet it's not hard. You can do it in less than a week. In less than a week. All right. I'm going to move forward because forward, it's only one line. Actually, there are three, three measures to learn. Three measures. And, and it's nothing there. It's absolutely nothing. So why it sounds a little bit different right now, because the angel actually is responding to Christine. And it's, hey, I am your angel of music. That is going to respond to Christine, that is the angel of music. Well, it's not quite, but in, at, at this moment in time, he is. Uh, the measure, the time signature, it will change from three counts in a measure in four counts in a measure. So that's why it looks a little hmm, odd. Something is happening there, right? So this is a, um, a method that sometimes it is required in the middle of the song, we change the time signature from three counts in a measure in four counts in a measure. And it looks like it's completely a different song because it does have a different feeling. So you can see here, so I'm going on this G on the left hand, on the right hand. Actually, let's start with the left hand because it's nothing there. Again, you have the G fifth and then you move up, you slide in, very easily and you go to E flat. So don't do this. Alright, you see that? That's wrong. That's not good. It's not like it is wrong. It's totally uncomfortable and you're gonna feel pain in your in your wrist and it's like no. So you slide and then you catch this one. So in music we're trying to keep your hand as much as possible into this format. This one move up and down with ease. So just practice this because that's the only thing you need to do. Alright. On the right hand, you only have G and A and G, D. Right? Goes G, G, A, A, G, 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 D. That's what you need to do. One, two, three, and one. Hold on, 
short, short, hold, short, short, and go. Right? So, stop the video, practice that. With the left hand, it's just on the hold, you, you match the right hand. Actually, on the first count. One, two, three, and one. actually 58 uh, it's saying 15 and then ma that means two octave higher you do have an octave higher over here you have an 8 va that's the sign and 15 ma it means two octave higher and just to end the, in a really fun spirit here for the entire song before i'm playing it one more time from the beginning to the end so eight and VA comes from octava. Octava means uh, eight, obviously, eight notes apart from uh, Italian language, right? Because mostly all the, all the notation in um, music are Italian language, so you do uh, um, learn uh, Italian right now. Some of the time I'm going to tell you what actually piano means and what actually forte means in Italian and why piano is called piano, the instrument piano. That's another story in another video. But right now, 8VA comes from octava. It's spelled A-C-T-A-V-A. -A -A. So VA is from the end. Now, 15s come ag again from, if you know how to uh, count in Italian, you know, I really love Italian language. It's quindicissima. Quindicissima, okay? So it's two octave apart. You will say, how come it's two octave? I thought eight by two is 16. Well, it is actually 15 in music because you cannot count two times the same note. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't count this again. Move forward. Uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, so two octaves apart, it will be uh, 15 notes apart. In Italian, is quindicissima. Is it not fun? Quindicissima. Sounds so fancy. Quindicissima. Right? So let's play all over from the beginning. Oh, the pedal. The pedal goes, you push the pedal every single measure, every single measure. Every time you, you play the left hand, every time you push the pedal again. That means you clean it up the right pedal, the damper pedal, right? You clean it up and then you push it again. But don't add the pedal before you learn actually the notes, notes and the fingers and stuff like that, where it goes. Because you don't want to get confused, okay? So don't touch the pedal. Let's go. Where in the world have you been hiding?
something new okay so thank you so much thank you so much practice and send me a comment